Our second debate on the news hour tonight is about the unmistakable stamp of Pakistan in the terror strike that has just taken place in the city of Hyderabad. And joining us from uh, Lahore is Admiral Javed Iqbal from Karachi, Zafar Hilali, former Pak ambassador to the United States. Editor of the news, Mohammad Malik, is also joining us from <laughs> Lahore. Vicky Nanjapa is a, a senior journalist with Rediff.com and he has written extensively about the clear link between the lashkar e toiba and this group that calls itself the Indian Mujahideen, Maruf Raza, a strategic affairs analyst, and Subramaniam Swami of the Janata Party from Chennai. Mr. Zafar Hilali, you see what is going to happen increasingly is that you will come under pressure from India and you will also come under increasing global pressure uh, if you continue to keep these people, Riyaz Bhatkal and the others who you call the Indian Mujahideen, who are nothing but uh, on the payrolls of the lashkar e toiba why risk that? You are already facing so much pressure from all over the world, Mr. Zafar Ileli, now. You cannot risk trying to, you know, keep some other people like you do, Dawood Ibrahim and the others. It is in Pakistan's interest now to stop protecting this group, uh, you know, which is working on your behalf, carrying out terror in India. Uh, <coughs> now that you've solved the problem, and all that you need to do is to name the culprits, arrest them and put them in trial, so why don't you do it? I mean, it's remarkable the kind of logic you employ. Um, I suppose it's inconceivable that any Indian group yeah. is unhappy with anything India has ever done. Let me read out in for Kashmir, you. for example. Let me read out and for you. And therefore, it's only the Pakistanis who are interested yeah. in traveling 1,000 miles and setting up a bomb, God knows where. Mr. And really, for what purpose, I don't Mr. know. Mr. Mr. Hilali, with all respect to you, I don't think you are aware that the United States government says exactly the same thing. That the rest of the entire you know, world the says the same States thing. the United States government... Yes. You know, the United States government said many things in Afghanistan. And you will note they said many things about Iraq. And before that, so they have said many things about Vietnam. And every time so they come in on the basis of what they believe, no, no, they leave minute. a situation sir, worse. I, I do not you want the message? Isn't sir, it I don't clear want, uh, to you as yet? Sir, I don't, don't want... preach there what they say sir, as if it's the I, gospel I truth, that, for God's I believe, sake. I, be, I believe that you have uh, unfortunately got an apprehension that I am an interested party in this, which I am as a concerned Indian. But I want to take away any element of subjectivity by getting into this discussion at this stage. Mr. Vicky Nanjappa of Rediff.com, who has written extensively. Uh, in fact, you'd find his pieces very interesting. Uh, he's written extensively about the lashkar e toiba Indian Mujahideen link. Can you briefly tell our, our guests in Pakistan, especially, and our viewers, Vicky, uh, what is the link between the lashkar e toiba and the Indian Mujahideen, please? Yeah, uh, good evening. Uh, there have been uh, three very uh, important uh, links which have been found by the Indian investigators. Uh, you need to back down, I uh, mean, go back to what happened at Butkal around 12 years back, where there was a major arms hall which was uh, uh, found at a Nadwa college in Butkal, and that is when the first ISI presence was, you know, established in Butkal at that time. And uh, Butkal happens to be the place from where Riyaz Butkal and Iqbal as well as Yasin hail. And then the next very crucial uh, link could be found in the confession of David Coleman Hidley. Ah. Uh, the confession which was made before the FBI where he speaks about uh, Riyaz Bhatkal and the Karachi project with the Moshin Ch uh, Chaudhary and Rasul Party and all these people. So he has definitively spoken about how the Lashkar with the ISI does protect uh, operators of the Indian Mujahideen and how Indian Mujahideen is part of a Karachi project. And uh, very briefly to put it, you know, it's, I mean, it's a known fact that you know, it is a feeder cadre of the Simi which uh, turned into the Indian Mujahideen. And uh, Lashkar did want a homegrown outfit uh, within India. And that is precisely why you see all the investigations and the confessions which have been made by the various uh, alleged uh, terrorists or, or, the, or these boys who speak about you know, their trips to Pakistan and how they have been in touch with the ISI, Ahmed Khwaja, P. Nazir, these are a couple of that's names. That's a pretty but, straightforward uh, link, you know. Uh, one. And also, one yeah. should also look at the confession of uh, Abu Jundal, or Abu Jundal, who was picked up recently from uh, Saudi Arabia and deported down to India. 
and uh, he was very much in Saudi Arabia scouting, uh, helping out uh, with uh, recruitments for Indian Mujahideen. Yes. But uh, the most definitive link uh, we could say is about what David Coleman Headley speaks uh, in his uh, interrogation report yes, to the FBI, he, he does. And where he also names another person called as Hashim, who was involved in the 2006 uh, train blast in uh, Bombay. Yep. At that's the point. Was also part of the Indian That's the point. So, so I, I, these are the definitive links. I, I, I'd then like to get Admiral Javed Iqbal and Mohammad Malik. You know, there is such a sea of information. And this particular Karachi project is going to be busted. Because when India is bleeding like this, then we will put the diplomatic pressure on Pakistan. Inevitably, there will be pressure from the people of India. Why risk everything? Simply because you want to continue bleeding India directly or indirectly. Why don't you go after the lashkar e toiba tell them to give up sponsorship to the Karachi project, put pressure on the ISI and the other bosses of the Indian Mujahideen who are sitting in Karachi. Would uh, Admiral Iqbal or Muhammad Malik like to take that please? First of all, I'm Admiral Iqbal. First of all, I condemn uh, any terror act anywhere, be it India, be it Pakistan, be it the United States of America, be it on any other part of the world. Secondly, my sympathies are with those who have lost their lives and all those who lose their life in such acts. Look, I fail to understand that instead of, it is the same story like Pakistan, like our inter interior minister says, that my job is only to inform, it seems Indian Interior Ministry is also doing the same. Why don't you check your own side and tighten the loose ends if the people can travel all the way to Hyderabad and do such an act, do, you should look into your own side that why shouldn't you tighten that. Secondly, now I think it's time that we should all, the whole world should go against terrorism First of all, let's define terrorism. From my, as far as I'm concerned, even drone, drone attacks are terrorism. No, so let, why doesn't not, India talking... condemn it? Why, why, why doesn't India condemn I, it? No, no, I'd, like to, I'd like to add something here. One second. Okay, one second. Muhammad Malik also wants to come in. I just want to tell you one, one very brief fact yeah. here today before I go across to Maruf. Muhammad Malik, sahab, I'd like to tell you that uh, Admiral Javed Iqbal says, why don't you tighten the screws? Well, we did tighten the screws and look what we found. We found a man who comes from Karachi no, by, the name of, by, the name of, by the name of Mohammed Ajmal in August 2010, and I can share the confessions with you, where he tells about how he was instructed by Riaz and Iqbal Bhatkal uh, sitting in Pakistan. So the entire Pakistan net connection of this so-called Indian Mujahideen was busted in 2010. That's a limited Mr. point Swami, I wanted to make. Mohammad Malik, please, go ahead. Yeah. First of all, confessions, India and Pakistani police, they can get confession out of uh, Barack Obama also, and he'll confess to killing Rajiv Gandhi. So confessions in subcontinent are, are nothing new. I'm, I'm appalled. As a professional, I'm appalled by the journalistic standards of your channel. I'm sorry. I've never seen such a slanted story. You have lapped whatever the agencies or whatever the police have said. Right. You, in your intro, in your intro, in your package, you've, call, you've called it unquestionable evidence. Yes. You've talked about, you know, unmistakable uh, proofs. Yes. These are police claims. Let's no. let's, let's be rational on both no, sides. No, sir. There's no. It's Just because something so has I happened. Have, I have. Let me right something. Now. I, I remember no, no, some no. Jota. No, let me finish. Mr. Give Malik. me ten seconds. Mr. Malik. I remember okay. when some Jota Express happened. Hmm. It it was the same Indian media. It was the same police, yeah. it was the same terrorist uh, intelligence outfits of, of India yeah. that had placed it squarely and fairly on Pakistan and ISI. Now we all <laughs> know what really happened in Samjota Express. So let's Sir, not this, uh, jump the gun every time. Uh, I remember when you had the parliament attack. Mohammed. Within 16 hours. Hmm. The, yeah. No, Mohammed Malik, I just want to tell you so here. It's the same that, agency. That, uh, I take. So let's, 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 I let's take. Keep, uh, let's I, keep, I let's take. Uh, Jota Express in Mount I, 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 I will. I will without without any, uh, you know, without responding at all to your personal attack on me. I will. I would limited point like to make out to you that you have a right to say you disregard the Indian investigators, their dossiers, etc. It's all a load of rubbish. But then you can't disregard the entire world. The United States uh, uh, State Department 
while adding you the I am on its tomorrow. list of. Uh, what, allow me to complete, sir. Will I think so will you tomorrow? Uh, will you adding, believe? Okay, then so it means will tomorrow. You believe? Will you believe everything that the US says about India? No, I'm saying the entire world. What kind of a logic is that? It said that that this okay, that the I am. Let's take one example. Sir, allow it me. wasn't that long it's ago. The US, the US president, the US president, no, no, Swami, the US president came on air and he said Raymond Davis was a US diplomat. He wasn't. So even the, the US president the, lies on record. See the thing, Let's not get too emotional see, about America. Yeah, there's no, there's absolutely, let me tell you, Mohammed Malik, if you allow me to complete, you know, uh, there is a lot of emotion which one actually has to put aside because it's not just irritating for India to see these attempts of Pakistan, but at the same time, allow me to complete, the definition of the IM is a group with significant links to Pakistan. The Headley testimony talks about the Karachi project and Headley in his confession had said very clearly that Riaz and Iqbal Bhatkal are living under the protection of the lashkar e toiba in Karachi. You hand over Riaz and Iqbal Bhatkal to India and then there will be no pressure. That's the limited point that I make. You can do that. You hand them over. That's the end of the story. I want to get in Maruf and Swabramaniam Swami at this stage. Maruf, your response, please. Honor, firstly, uh, you know, I uh, can, uh, with certain respect, agree with certain points that the two distinguished Pakistani guests are making. You know, but the point is that they are now moderates or sensible elements like them are in the fringe. The mainstream in Pakistan is now dominated by the followers of uh, Hafiz Saeed and various oh, other hardline cool. elements. Just pick up books written not by Western authors, pick up books written and writings of people like Ahmed Rashid, who is an eminent Pakistani scholar, whether you look descent into chaos. Even more recently, Aisha Siddiqua in some of her articles has been saying that even at university campuses, she found it very, very uh, uh, surprising that the youth were kind of veering away to supporting, uh, you know, hardline elements. So it's very hard for moderates to confront them when the judges in So Pakistan what is the reality? What is the reality about Bhatkal Maruf? Mean. Let's come to the point. Let's cut the chase. What is this Karachi no, okay. project? Now, let me tell what you is this Karachi reality. project? Now,